You, you can't control nature. I can control this now. I've controlled the compost and I've controlled them. These are all beautifully tidy and I feel happy because I've cleaned my surface. But that's about as far as it goes. When I first came here, I lost every single plant I'd bought over two years because I didn't understand it. You need to, you need to really get out of yourself and into the place to try and understand what the place is all about. Near the house you want to control it a little bit within your view because there is a winter to think about and now we have, our attention is not taken by the formal shapes but by what surrounds it but when you get into the autumn and the winter shapes become architecture and they're very important in a garden. Because that, that's what I found difficult at the beginning. Uh, it was to merge the formal garden and the wilderness over the river. You know, I don't want it to be just trees in a row have, you know, as a collection. I want it to be also put in a more gardenesque way. I'm interested in the visual and I'm interested in making a garden beautiful and a collection beautiful and make people understand that you can have a collection without it being boring. My childhood was in, on top of a hill, 600 meters, with views of hundreds of miles, the Apennines on one side and Rome on the other. We lived a very, very sparse life in a house which had no curtains, but it had bats behind the, the pictures. I suppose it's, it's, a, it's a place where I could indulge in doing something which is quite unconventional for, for, for a Roman girl uh, who, whose role was to get married and produce children and maybe have a job as a lawyer. Instead of which I'm, I'm in a garden doing uh, manual work and dealing with soil. I have a feel for plants. They, I have a connection and, you know, sometimes I, I even put myself in their shoes. I think, well, if I was that, what, what would I want? I want to be, I want to be a sundial and I want to be surrounded by water. Sue, so, I'm a sundial surrounded by water. Okay, <laughs> I've got to go ahead. <laughs> so you mustn't be worried about planting trees. You're never too old, never. I mean, I'm still planting trees now and I will for the next 10 years. It, you know, it has an inner life, which I can't control at all. I mean, you know, superficially I've done what I wanted and what my enthusiasm and passion and whatever wants and is satisfied by, but actually I can't control it, which is why I'm obsessively gardening the whole time. You know, I sort of fight against the idea that nature was actually sometimes against one, but I suppose what I've learned is that you can't fight. You just have to accept it. But that's the way it is. You're not going to be able to change that. Look, there's one which isn't symmetrical. It's not easy to be a gardener. And then you have to deal with people. 